She can see me. That's all right. So you're gonna come on behind your motor. Just bring your hands on the little handles and then feet out a little bit wider than hip distance. Toes turn out, chest up, and then breath in, squat down low. As you squat, you can let your rotor press away. Can we just keep the arms nice and long so the chest opens? Hearts forward, breath in, down. Breath out to left. Okay, so just wake up the hips. Bring some space into the knees. Keeping the feet heavy and then push into the outside edges of the feet. Okay, you got three more. Breath in. Breath out. Last two. Last one. Now we're going to take it right up onto the tiptoes. So I want you to squat low and then lift right onto the toes. Drop the heels lower. Exhale, lift, rise. Perfect. Inhale. The legs just switch on through those calf muscles. Last three. Good. Last two. Last one. Down into the squat. Lift tall onto the toes. Perfect. Now we're going to bring your heels tight together. And we're going to lift up onto the tiptoes. So nice little plie. Heels tight right onto the toes. You're going to keep the heels high and then bend your knees. Just use your motor for stability. And then left press up. Zip into the inner thighs. Breath in. Breath out. Good. Four. Exhale. Last three. Legs are starting to burn already. Last two. Last one. Lift and hold. Now the heels, I want you to drop the left heel. Lift, drop the right heel. Just walk out through those feet for four. For three. Last two. Last one, tall on both toes. And then drop the heel down, perfect. I want you to take the right foot into your right loop. Right foot, right loop. Perfect. From there, you just slightly back away from your rotor. I want you to lift up the right knee. And you're going to extend, press the leg away and then reach the rotor out in front of you. Draw the knee in between the elbows. Exhale, press away. So take it nice and slow, just finding that single leg balance. Breath in. Breath out. Good, push the heels, squeeze the glutes. Stabilize through the left side, use the arms to help. Good, Anna, you got it. <laughs> Last two. Last one. Draw in and release. Good, you're gonna bring the left foot into the other loop. Switch it over, just keep the right foot where it is. Exactly the same thing on that left leg. Lift the knee. Press the foot away from you, lean the body forward. Draw the knee in, lift high. Breathe, press out. Lift, press away. Good, nice slow movement. Open the chest, keeping the balance steady on that right leg for three. Last two. Good, last one. Out, and in, perfect. Now you're gonna lift the right knee and then switch just a little march. Right, left, glutes are still hooked on. Right, left, good. Nice high lift for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one, now you're gonna pick up the pace. Little dog, right, left, right, left. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good, take the legs off your feet. And then grab those little stabilizers and pop them down onto the floor for your rotor. Little stabilizers, come and down. Now once it's there, make sure you're nice and stable and the rotors are as far off to each side as you can get them. And we're going to come in for a little bit of balance work. So just stand off to the back, take the right foot onto the rotor first, then step left, right, tap to the front with the left, step back, step tap, keep tapping forward and back with that left foot. And then 
consistency in the balance. Whoop. Tiny steps. Good. One more on this leg. I'm going to switch it over. Take the left foot to the front of the roller. Then step right, left, tap right forward. Right, left, tap right back. Right, left, forward. Right, left, back. Using the arms to maintain the balance. Good, two more. Body starting to switch on. Whoop. Last one. it off. Perfect. You're going to bring yourself to use one leg either side of the roller, so just straddle. From here, we're going to take it into a squat. So as you breathe in, you're going to sink low. Try to tap the hips to the roller and then rise high. Squeeze. Breath in. Breath out. Breath in. Breath out. Good. Wrap the knees out wide. Press into the feet. Chest is up for five. Last four. Last three, last two, last one. My left, what we're gonna do is bring a little tap. So you're gonna squat, lift, tap. Squat, lift, tap. Alternating the legs each time. Squat, tap, squat, tap. Good. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one, and center. Perfect. From here, I'm going to take both straps into your hands for me. You're going to bring your right foot to the center of the roller, and then a big step back on the left. Good, so in a nice lunge position, you want knee over ankle on the front and as wide of a position as you can get between the feet. The feet. As you breathe in, you're going to squat, or not squat, lunge low and lift the arms. Breath out, rise the body. Breath in, breath out. Inhale. Good, so core's on. Stabilize through the centre. Keep the shoulders down. Keep the neck nice and safe. Good, those arms are working through that front raise. Legs are working. Are you ready for the balance? The next time you come up, you're gonna bring the left leg, balance on the right. Inhale, step back, rise the arms. Exhale, lift, good. Inhale, exhale. Well done, we got it, last three. Last two. Last one. Now we're going to hold up on this balance. So the legs lifted, your balance on the right leg. Ooh, focus. And we're going to extend and reach the left leg back behind you. Good. Use the arms to stabilize. Draw forward in the middle. If you can, bring the arms in too. Reach forward. Reach back. No. <laughs> Draw it in and lift. Last one, lean, reach, yes, <laughs> and center, well done. Step it off to the floor, find some safe ground. Lovely work. From here, just let go of your left foot, keep a hold of the right. Take your left knee onto the roller and then take your right foot into the strap. Perfect, hands are gonna come to those little black handles. And you want shoulders over your wrists and knees underneath your hips. You're going to take the right leg straight back behind you. Nice straight flat line across the spine. And we start off with just a little lift. Squeeze the right glute to lift. And then tap to the floor. Lift and lower. And we're going to try to maintain the balance across all three points of contact. So weight even across the hands. Shoulders are level. Nice lift across the center of the belly. Breath out, breath in. Good, nice slow release. 
We got three more here. Try to flex the foot, push the heel away. Last two. Last one, hold it high for me. So with the right leg, I want you to reach and tap out towards that right egg. Lift high in the middle, and then tap out towards the left side. Lift high in the middle, rotate, tap to the right. Lift, rotate, tap to the left. Lift, rotate to the right. Lift, rotate to the left. Work through the waist, the glutes, the hamstrings. Last three, exhale up. Last two, last one, up, back to centre and draw it in. Good, now you're going to come down onto the left hip for me. So you rest it onto the left hip and then we're going to take the left forearm down onto the floor. I want you to try to keep stacked across the hip bones here and then shoulders nice and steady with that elbow. We're lifting the right leg up so it's level with the hip and flex in the foot, so pull the toes towards you. Inhale, you're going to draw forward towards your egg. Exhale, sweep and point back. Inhale, forward, flex. Exhale, sweep, pull back. As you work through those little side sweeps, I want you to try to keep the waist lifted, keep the core switched on so belly doesn't start to drop in the middle. The inner thighs, outer thighs are all strong to help you stabilize that hip. Good, nice strength. Last two. Last one. Keep the neck nice and long. Come forward and hold it forward for me. From here we're going to lift up towards the ceiling. We're going to circle round, down and back level with the hip. Inhale, pull forward. Exhale, lift, circle. Bring the hand onto the hip for some guidance if you want it. Just watch the pelvis as start to roll on you. Good, big circles, breath in, breath out. Two more here. Up, last one, e. change in direction. You're gonna breathe out, press straight down in line with your body. Lift, open to the ceiling, and then down in front. Breath out, breath in, keep the hips steady. Last two. Last one, Eek. and relax, oh, butt's burning. From here, we are gonna come into a little bit of bridge work. I want you to bring yourself down so that your upper back is rested across your roller. Your feet are planted on the floor and the right foot's still hooked underneath that strap, so the right foot's still got the loop. Once you're there, hands in behind your head. You're gonna breathe out as you lift the hips and squeeze the glutes. Breathe in to lower and release. Pushing the feet into the floor, squeeze the glutes left. And then slow release down. Try to push evenly through both feet, keeping the elbows nice and wide. Still a little bit of protection for the head. Last one, lift up. Hold it here. You're gonna bring your right leg up and reach those right toes to the ceiling. Perfect, as straight as you can get them. When we inhale, dip the hips to the floor and lift. Dip the hips to the floor and lift. Good, yeah, you got it. Whole way down, whole way up. Reach. Try to touch the ceiling with those right toes for four. Squeeze into the left glute for three. Last two, last one, lift, hold, and then little pulses at the top for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Both feet back to the floor, release the head, and then come on up for me. Oh, you can unhook that loop, take it off the foot. Grab a quick drink of water if you need that. Awesome, and then for our next one, we're gonna come down and sit onto the roller. So you're gonna face towards your little legs. I want you to bring the feet forward of those arms, and you're gonna take your hands into both loops. Good. So once you're there,
there, just make sure your butt's as far forward as you can get it. We're gonna aim to roll the whole way back. So two arms reach ahead, feet are flat and heavy, shoulders are down. As you inhale, I want you to start to tuck, start to roll, curl back. One vertebra at a time, let the arms reach overhead. You're gonna make a big wide circle around the outside and then breath out as you roll and rise right back to the top. Breath in, sink, curl, tuck, roll. Arms reach overhead, big sweep, circle, snowy and dull round, and back to the top. If it is too much to come the whole way down, you can just bring it halfway if you're struggling to get back up. Big circle, chin to chest, scoop the tummy in. Good, last couple, breath in. Reach, circle, rise to the top. Last two, big reach through those arms. Oh, last one, tuck, roll, curl, reach, rise it to the top and hold it here. So once you're at the top, and then we're gonna curl back to about halfway. So teal pulls forward, arms reach ahead. Pull the tummy in, sink the shoulders down. Perfect, so just the arms are gonna go. I want you to open the arms out to the sides. Good, slow release back into center. Breathe in, breathe out. Try to feel those upper abdominals really switch on. Feet are heavy, last two. Last one, center. And rise the whole way to the top. Okay, you're gonna keep a hold of the straps for me and you're gonna come to stand. Let's take the other side of our lunge. So left foot this time is on the roller, right foot's on the floor, both hands in. Give me a big step back, with as much space as you can. Front knee steady with the front ankle and roll the shoulders. Go nice and slow just into the lunges to start. Drop the back knee, rise the arms. Rise it to the top, breath in. Breath out, good, breath in, breath out. Try to come as low as you can. Work through that left glute, stabilize through the lower core, shoulders down. Perfect. Last three vanilla. Last two. Last one, we're gonna find that balance. This time we lower the knee, we reach the arms, lower the arms and lift the knee. Good, first one's always the hardest. Breath in, breath out. Ooh. Good, nice and controlled. Find that footing, work through the ankle, the knee, try to find that control through the center. Last three. Last two. Last one. And this one you're gonna to try to hold up. One side's always harder than the other. Hold it up with that right leg. You're now gonna lean the body forward. Send the right leg back. Good, as far as you can. And then draw in, lift. Bring the arms in if you can do it. <laughs> Reach the arms, reach the legs, don't worry if there's wobbles. Shoulders down, chest up, one more time. Breath in, reach, hold, yes! <laughs> and release, great work. Ditch the right leg, throw it away for me, find seat of ground. And let's come in for that little bit of sit, uh, four point work. So left foot in the loop, left foot in the loop. Right knee to the roller, and then hands onto those little arms. Bring the left leg straight back behind you, and try to find that balance position across the arms and legs. Coming in for the lift, you squeeze the left glute to lift the foot from the floor, and then slowly lower. Breath out, breath in. Try to keep pulling the shoulder heads down, keeping the hips steady. 
keep them level. So as you lift into the left glute, you're not rocking the pelvis. Good breath out. Tap to the floor. Keep pressing that heel away. Last three. Find the length through the hamstring. Last two. Last one. Hold here for me. So legs lifted. You're going to draw the left toes out towards the left side. Lift high in the middle and tap to the right. Lift high in the middle. Tap to the left. High in the middle. Tap to the right. Big lift. Try to work through the body here. So core strong as you stabilize in the middle. Working into the glutes. Yes, high in the center, pull back on that right shoulder, last four, up, last three, last two, last one, lift in the center and draw it in, rest, you're coming in onto your right hip for me. So take it down onto the right forearm, right hip rests on the roller, and that left leg is coming out long level with the hip bone. Try to sit nice and high across the shoulder here. Hopefully you've got enough space. You're gonna flex the foot, pull the toes forward, keep that strap active, and then point the toes and sweep back. Good, nice open chest. Hand can stand the hip for some guidance here. Little lift through the middle, breath out, point, sweep back, squeeze and lift into the glutes, sweep, pull forward, keeping that hip open. Nice, strong hammer kicks, last three, last two, last one. Pull forward and hold. Now for the hard part, you're gonna lift up to the ceiling, roll it down, and then pull forward. So big circle, scramble legs, lift, lower, breathe in, breathe out. Good, use that breath when it's hard. Last three in this direction. Keep working those glutes to the pelvis, stay static. Last two. Last one, and then there's a change of direction, I'm afraid you're coming forward, press back, turn open, lift, down in front, good, we got it, lift, last couple of reps, leg says no, I know, keep it up, last two, last one, can rest. Love it. You're keeping that loop on your foot and we have the bridge on the other side. So you're coming down onto your upper back on the roller. Bring your feet to the floor and bring your hands in behind your head for some support. Make sure you're nice and steady across the upper body because we're going to lift into it. Pushing both feet into the floor, you squeeze the glutes, lift the hips and then slowly release and lower. Breath out, breath in. Try to feel like you're lifting something from the floor. So you're squeezing the glutes together, picking up that 100 pound note, and then slowly setting it back. Squeeze and release. Elbows are soft and wide, just keeping the head nice and soft in the hands. Last two here. Last one. This one you're lifting and you are holding. You're gonna lift the left leg and reach the toes to the ceiling. So point them up. Now dip them the whole way down. Touch the ground on the right and then squeeze left. Try to touch the ceiling with the left toes. Inhale, exhale. Work through that left glute, the hamstring, the quads are active. Breathe out, reach. Core is on strong for three. Exhale up, last two, oh, last one, lift, hold, and then little pulses, finish it for four, for three, for two, for one, drop the hips, 
Bring the foot to the floor and relax. Oh, you're coming up for me. Take the strap off your foot. And we got a little core circuit to go for. What I want you to do is bring yourself down on whatever side you've got more space on. So we're gonna come into a plank. Hands are on the rotor. Out into one straight line plank. Shoulders are over the wrists, belly's lifted, glutes are on, legs are on. From here, we're gonna come into a little rotational, rotational side plank. So you're gonna let your right hand come to the center and then lift the left hand up. Reach, good, rotate back to center and switch. Reach the right hand, rotate to center, reach the left. Good, rotate to center, reach to the right. Keeping the waist active, strong and steady in those shoulders. Good, nice rotation. Last four, open, reach. Last three, let yourself roll to the sides of the feet. Last two. Last one, in the center and hold it here. So shoulders still in line with the wrists, core is on. I want you to jump both feet inland, wide in a squat and then lift the chest, clap. Good, hands down, jump out, plank. Good, jump in, clap. Whoop, jump out, jump in. As you jump in, lift the chest, take the weight back into the heels. Perfect. Little half burpees for four. Whoop. Last three. Last two. Last one. And back to that plank for me. So hold in the plank, arms are getting tired. We go right knee in, left knee in, right, left, right, left. Faster, faster. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, and then both feet in and stand. Awesome, shake off the arms, shake off the shoulders, grab a quick drink, and we'll work with the arm. So I'm going to get your arm out. I want you to set your roller up on its end. Press the little green button, take your hat off and then lift the arm out of the rotor itself. Just gonna set the rotor off to the side for now, and then set those little stabilizers off to the side as well. Whew. So, bring your feet into the loops. One, and then the other. Perfect. One sec. Awesome. So from here, you're gonna go with the bar across your chest. Good. So nice chest, nice open chest, nice high elbows. Toes turn out. Let's start off into some squats. So breath in, squat low. Breath out, lift, squeeze the glutes. Good, so as you squat, try to keep the chest open. Keep the eyes forward. Good, keeping the weight nice and even across the feet. Perfect, so squats down, let's bring in the press. You squat, press up. Squat low, press up. Build through the shoulders. Good, nice and strong. Perfect. Last three like this. Last two, last one. Good, now for the fun part. You're gonna bring in some squat jumps, so there's 10 of these to do. We're gonna squat low, and you're gonna jump up, low, jump. Good, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good, from here, you're gonna take it down onto the floor. So keep the feet hooked in, bring yourself down onto your back. For 
perfect. From here, two legs are long. Arms are gonna reach long over your head. As you exhale, we're gonna reach the arms over your chest. Lift the head, lift the shoulders, curl, roll. Rise to the top. Breath in, tuck, roll, curl. One vertebra at a time to the bottom. Breath out. Rise to the top. Good, breath in, tuck, roll, curl. To the bottom. Good, full roll ups, nice and strong. Try to lean forward past your toes. If you can, get a little bit of hamstring in there. Exhale, rise, roll, reach, last two, reach, last one, this one you're going to hold at the bottom for me, so holding it here, I want you to reach your arms just over your eyes, and then I want you to bring your feet into tabletop. Lower back is nice and heavy, shoulders are down and tummy's curled in. You're going to reach and extend with one leg and pull back. Reach and extend the other, pull back. Keeping one leg static, keeping the lower back connected. Reach and in. Good, now if that feels good for you, you want a little bit more, you can lift the head, the shoulders and reach that arm to the ceiling as you take those reach and extend. Keeping the core switched on, tummy's pulled in tight. If you're lifted through the upper body, keep the shoulders down. Reach and pull. Reach and pull for four. Scoop into the center, plug the shoulders in. Last three. Last two. Keep the arms steady, last one. Back to tabletop, and then can you roll yourself to sit? Finding the balance on the sit bones. Good, and release. Hug the knees in towards you, lift the chest in the middle. And release the feet from the straps. Love you work, Anna, from here. So I want you to grab your roller again for me. Bring it down onto the floor in front of you. A little bit of stretch time before we finish. So taking your hands under the roller, let your toes come together, your knees go wide. All I want you to do is roll the roller away from you, let your chest drop in the middle. Let your body sink in between your thighs and just gently roll back and forward. So just letting the roller guide the movement. Letting the hips open, let the pelvis sink back behind you. Reach the fingers. Three, two, one. You're gonna roll yourself up the whole way, bring the knees together, keep the hands on the roller and tuck your toes in underneath. You're gonna lift into your down dog position. So heads in between the biceps, hands are on the roller. Lift the hips and drop the chest. Try to stretch into the hamstrings, press the heels down if you can. And then take a little paddle out, bend one knee and the other. That roller wants to keep rolling away from you. Try to keep pressing it down into the floor, right and left for four, for three, for two, last one, tall on both toes, then drop both heels, roll the roller in towards you so you find that lovely hamstring stretch. If you can, legs are straight, if you need to, you can bend them. Try to think about lifting up through the kneecaps, letting the chest drop that little bit heavier. You're gonna let your hands fall from the roller. Just let your body fall from its joints. Taking one hand to each elbow, and then a little gentle rock side to side. Let the head fall heavy. Feel the length through the back of the neck. Let your arms go. 
keep and then wet your body. You're gonna lift the arms, lift the chest, lift the head, rise to the top. Give me a big circle around. 